Hi everybody, uh, in this video I will show you about a touchable or some type of button in React Native. Uh, firstly, we uh, have to import some uh, of the uh, library for uh, button. We have a touchable highlight, we have a native feedback, uh, opacity and uh, touchable without feedback, etc. Uh, so first of all, we need to create uh, our old component. Uh, app component and the app component has a flex uh, justify content and uh, align center to ensure uh, that uh, it will align all the uh, children uh, to the center so first we have uh, the touchable highlight button uh, the touchable highlight button means that uh, it will highlight or change the color when uh, you click or you want you touch to this button and the color here is the underlay color the underlay color is the color when you press the button or touch to the button uh, so we can add uh, a view inside touchable highlight uh, and you can uh, we can style the view uh, to uh, for example background is green so we can have uh, the text inside the view uh, so inside the text we can uh, add for example touchable highlight text and run uh, in the android you can press the con uh, command m to show the menu and press reload to reload the data so uh, we have to change the padding the color for better use interface uh, so uh, I can change the color to white and uh, padding 20 and font size increase the font size okay and you run refresh uh, so now you can uh, add the image to this by uh, here I copy an image and set to a uh, directory for example we have a PNG file and drag and drop this photo to your project photo and remember this name so we can use this uh, in local name by adding uh, so uh, comment on this and replace this uh, image uh, so the image component we can uh, set uh, the property uh, for our style the first style we have the width and the height uh, width height is a fixed uh, size and the source is uh, point to the uh, image in the, my application uh, so source here we can uh, call the require uh, to the part the part is current image and slash uh, image file dot uh, png uh, so a refresh we see that we have the button as an image uh, so we can set uh, uh, the property for uh, so underlay when you press the button it will show the underlay as this uh, so it will call the function uh, zero function in this so we can alert also the an alert to the screen okay and you can size the high so we have a, when you press uh, you can see the underlay but you do not see why why you cannot see uh, because you have to add uh, the on press property here the on press is a, a function so uh, this is called to a function uh, I send separate the function outside uh, by defining the function for example on press uh, for example I can define on press button uh, then it is an arrow function uh, so add this function to here on press button and when you press you will show that on uh, on underlay button okay and press button so uh, the underlay the show underlay will work when you add the on press uh, property uh, both android and ios uh, so if you uh, remove this line you click to this and you can see that uh, nothing to do you cannot work without uh, this on press uh, so uh, what about the also underlay button you can uh, 
remove this and uh, what about here yeah, you can press and see the underlay color when you press to this you can see the underlay color as a red you can see that it has a, the red as the underlay color of the button when you press to this you can see the red yes so uh, uh, what about the text? You can uh, comment out this text and use a bot image and text. And you can also add the text inside the image. You can bring this to uh, the image but not recommend it because the reason of uh, performance. So uh, let's use the text. So we, we can have a touchable native uh, feedback. It uh, will get to work with Android only uh, so inside this I can call the function in here the on press button or you define the O function inside this so th what is the foreground the foreground is a uh, background of the parent component or the parent component background so uh, it is uh, not work in iOS and in Android it's uh, need a children uh, it need a children inside the native feedback so you can add uh, uh, a view inside a touchable native feedback so uh, you can start a view here uh, inside this we have the property style and the style has a width, high, margin and background color uh, so after changing this you can uh, uh, we can have a text inside the view uh, so uh, the text can uh, show that uh, touchable uh, native be feedback and uh, we have the style for text uh, the style for text is uh, a marking font size color and I can start align uh, this text to center and so refresh and reload okay so you have the button only in Android but in iOS it is not work because it is only for uh, Android so this is a fall round as uh, a fall round in this case is white and if you change to true it uh, the button will be white or uh, it is uh, use of the the, the, under the fall round or the uh, background as a uh, parent component and move this to upper uh, and you can add a uh, background color for here uh, for example if you change a new background and you use a uh, use a foreground so the foreground is now yellow and the button is also yellow but you can force it can use uh, the color uh, of the view inside the button so this is wha what about uh, the uh, parent uh, color or the foreground uh, so in the next I can uh, uh, we can have a touchable uh, opacity uh, what is opacity opacity means that it has an overlay or the, uh, the opacity from 0 to 1 uh, so you do the same as here you do the same and uh, in this we have the uh, view the text uh, similarly to the touchable uh, native feedback uh, and use run sec and reload okay and you see that the default active opacity is 0 0.2 uh, and it is the same as in android 0 0.2 for default uh, active opacity and uh, you can change this value by changing the property of uh, activity opacity for example you can increase this to 0 0.7 so with 0 0.7 you can see that it is a darker when you press the button it will be darker uh, the last we see that touchable without feedback and this is uh, not change UI when you press uh, so do similarly with the previous uh, customize we have the button and this button will not change the user interface or not flicker when you press this 
So uh, let's try uh, by clicking or tapping to this button. You see that uh, the UI not changed when you touch. Okay, uh, and uh, surely it has a on press in. So when you press this, uh, uh, your finger to it will need be pressed in. Uh, so it is here is press press in before press button. And it is more detail uh, than the previous button. So you can also add press out. Press out. What does it mean? When you uh, bring out your finger uh, from your uh, touch screen. So we have on press out. So after press out, you remove your finger uh, from uh, down to up. Okay, and uh, uh, you can also set the disable property. Uh, if you set the disable to true, it means that uh, the uh, the user interaction is disabled. So you cannot press to this. You press to this, and nothing to do, nothing change. So it is a disable. Uh, is true so uh, let's try to uh, add it to false and uh, you can add a function for the action up on long press uh, it is an arrow function uh, that uh, will be called when you uh, press a long time to this uh, it is uh, quite a long than the on press and you will press and wait a little bit you can see that it shows on long press this is very useful when you want to uh, do some of the careful action yes uh, thank you very much for watching this lesson today uh, thank you can uh, download my code in github or subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye bye